Hey there you guys, so today I am going to be doing my May wrap up and June TBR. So I cannot believe that it is already the end of May. Like, really? It's really already the end of May? I, 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 I'm struggling with the fact that it's the end of May already, but that means that this video has to come out, so let's get started. So as of right now, because I'm filming this on Saturday the 30th, um, I only have finished two books, but I have to finish one book this weekend, and the other one I'm hoping to finish this weekend, so I'm going to talk about them, and if I don't end up finishing them, they're going over next month anyway. Well, the one book is, the other one has to be finished this weekend, otherwise, I, no. Nah. So the first book that I read and finished this month was Graceful by Wendy Mass. Um, I got this as a pre-order and I immediately picked it up. Um, I got it end of April, I want to say. I think it was like the last week in April. And, um, this book was absolutely amazing. I loved this book so flipping much. It was the final in a series, which means that I have successfully done, um, read a series finale slash finish a series within the month that I was supposed to hallelujah um but yeah so so after reading that and I was currently reading something else at the same time um I wanted something quick and easy and it was late and so I just wanted to pick something up that was easy and was different than what I was already currently reading and so I picked up um The Lost Hero graphic novel adaption thing um adapted by Robert Vendetti and um I love this. This was, I think I gave this 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was an amazing adaptation. Um, some of the things that they left out were actually kind of a good thing to leave out because you didn't necessarily need them for the storyline. Um, but yeah, it was, I loved the adaptation. Um, as the other ones, this isn't how I envision them in my head, but that happens to everyone. Um, because most of the time when I read, I kind of ignore for some of the books, ignore the descriptions because eventually I just like, I read it one night and I'm thinking about them that way and then I forget what the, the like the description is. So like, I just forget about it. And so, um, this isn't exactly how I envisioned them all, but it was still like, it was an amazing adaptation and I want Son of Neptune now, duh. So now, I go on to the two books that I haven't actually finished yet, but I hope to finish this weekend. Um, the first is the one that I have to finish, which is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Um, I have like 200 pages left. I should have finished it by Wednesday, but I my last weekend was nuts and crazy and I had tons of stuff going on. And this week I just haven't read. And so, um, yeah, I've been annotating and stuff and there's sticky notes all through it um because I'm reading it for school um but yeah so I have to finish this weekend this this weekend so this is going to be finished so I will have finished three books within one month which hasn't happened yet I don't think I think I haven't I don't think I have um so I'll finally be on track ish not really but ish so that's good which means, okay, so I'm gonna, because I'm so behind in the reading challenges for Katie Tastic, I've abandoned reading Looking for Alaska, the 10th anniversary edition. As of right now, I don't feel like reading it. I feel like I would start reading it and it would be homework. And I don't, I don't want that. Now, yeah, this is homework, but I also wanted to pick it up anyway. So... Once I finish this book, this is obviously just going to count for the read of book with 500 plus pages because it's 550, so that works. But it's also going to count for read an award-winning novel because this was a Prince Honor book. So, and it's even got the little plaque. So I am going to count this as that one as well which means that I'm only one behind now. Because for me, I don't, I don't like reading a book because it's won an award. And I know that that's what this challenge is going, is trying to do. 
But for me, I don't particularly like reading books because they won an award. I actually wrote a paper on it, but it wasn't a very good paper. So whatever. Um, but I researched it, re was researching book awards and stuff. And I don't, I don't enjoy reading a book just because it's won an award. That's not how, why I read. That's not why I look for a, it's not what I look for in a book. So reading this for school has, I wanted to read it anyway, eventually this year. Um, but it works for the challenge and it's going to work for both. Um, yeah. So I'll only have read 11 books for the challenge. So sorry, but that's what's happening. And yeah. And then the next book that I hope to finish this weekend, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen, is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, I am 112 pages into it, which is good, um, which means I'm almost halfway through it, I think. Um, that's what I've read. Um, so it means that I'm almost halfway through it, but I don't know if it's going to happen because for some reason, because I'm reading it, like I'm reading it, I'm slowly, I'm kind of a slow reader unless I'm skimming, but I don't want to skim these books. So reading it, each chapter takes me like a half hour. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to read this, but I'm definitely finishing it next month. Definitely. So now on to my June TBR. So the first book that I plan on reading next month, as long as I finish Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, this one's obviously a little thicker, uh, which means it'll probably take me a little longer, but I'm done with school in a week. No, I'm done with school in seven school days, so five days this week and Monday, Tuesday, which are our final exams. Um, so... I'll have time to finally read and just sit down for an entire day and just read. So I'm hoping that's why I can finish Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets because I want to read the whole series by the end of the year. And as of right now, that's not going to happen. The next book that I hope to read in June is The Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz. I don't have the dust jacket on it yet. No, not yet. I don't have the dust jacket on it right now because I'm currently reading it. So, yeah. I'm about a chapter and a half into it. Um, I just picked it up for one night and just started reading it because um, I felt like it. So I'm using one of my um, Etsy bookmarks. The next book that I hope to read this month is The Death Code by Lindsay Cummings. Um, I just got this book in the mail a couple days ago. Um, it's got a beautiful blue spine. This is actually a sneak peek into my book haul because I ended up filming a book haul for this month because... I got six books in the last two months, so that book haul's coming. But I just got this, and I'm a chapter into it, and oh my gosh. It's weird to have the physical copy, because I read the audiobook um, of the first book, but um, yeah, I'm so excited to get to this and just sit down and crank it out, because yeah, ugh. And this, the, look at the, it's got like, like barcodes on it, and next book that I hope to read this month is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Moss? Mass? I don't know. People who have met her are saying Mass, so I don't know what it is. Whatever. I think I'm going to keep saying Moss. <laughs> um, but yeah, this came as a pre-order and um, I'm, I really want to read this this month. I just didn't have time during May to end up picking it up and reading it. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super excited to get to this because everybody, it's, it's gotten a lot of rave reviews, so there's a lot of hype about it, which, you know, is a good thing. The next book, which I'm planning on reading, which I'm actually, this is the first time I've put it in a TBR because I knew that I wasn't going to read it within a month, and I'm already halfway through it, but it's a honkin' book, is Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan. Um, I am halfway through it, um, almost, and, um... I'm hoping to finally sit down and crank this book out because Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes comes out in August and I pre-ordered it and I want to finish this before I read that. Not that it matters, but um, yeah, this book has almost taken me almost an entire year to read. So I kind of want to finish it 
So I'm putting it in a TBR, hopefuling, hopefuling, hoping that it gets gives me the motivation to actually finally finish reading this and just sit down and crank it out. Cause it, there is no sitting down and cranking this out. I'm gonna have to like sit down for like a couple of hours and sit down to read this because like each section, cause it's like, they're like textbook sized pages. Like look, a lot of words on one page. Um, the next book that I might get to this month that's kind of just a throw in um, is One Day by David Nichols. Um, I picked this out of my TBR jar um, during the month at some point. Um, yeah. Um, just kind of as an addition, some of you may be wondering what happened to Wendy Mass Beauty and the Beast book. This one. This book. And why that isn't in here at all. And um, if you watched my readathon video, um, and that's because I checked on Goodreads just to add it to my to read like my currently reading thing. I've already read it. And I think I read it during a time when I was just flying through books to like because I had like a huge stack on my thing and I was just like I gotta read. So I was just like skip. I was reading super super quick at that point. I think that was like last June or something and um so I read it and I forgot that I read it so um because I have already read it I'm not gonna pick it up anytime soon because I'm trying to get my TBR down so because I've already read it I do I'm just not gonna reread it anytime soon so now is the part of the video that I haven't actually done yet because I've been too anxious to pick a new one is I'm gonna pick my TBR jar challenge for the month. So let's let's see what I'm gonna be reading this month. Well, what I'm gonna. It's getting more empty. It's kind of fun. Doesn't look like there's six, seven, seven slips of paper still in there. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I can't fit my hand in it, so I think this is the one that I chose. Okay. Let's see. Read a book you DNF'd slash gave up on. So I might pick that one in the moment because there's a couple of books on my shelf that I've DNF'd and gave up on. Um, I could read Mr. Penumbrum's 24 hour book bookstore, bookshop. I can't remember what it is. Um, I'm looking at my shelves down here. Um, I could read Cinder. I could read um, My True Love Gave to Me, but I might save that for later. Um, I could read Anna and the French Kiss. Um, and these are just books that I'm still in the middle of. I just didn't, or still, like I just started and just left the bookmark in there because I was going to pick it up again and just put it back on my shelf. Um, I could read The Star Won't Go Out. Um, yeah, so there are some options, obviously you'll find out later. Um, and I feel like I want to pick a book out of my TBR jar. I'm being very ambitious this month, like way too ambitious. Okay. This is so flipping full. And I'll update you in a minute on something. Like my entire hand is just in here and it's like overflowing. You can't see them. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm doing this one. Okay. Let's see what this is. Hopefully it's a book I want to read. Oh. Well, I can't do this one because it's the second in the series. So, just give me a second. I'll pick another one. Let's do this one. This one. This one. My hand wants this one. This one fell out, so if this one isn't a book that I can read. It's not. It's not a book I can read. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. 
Okay, let's see this one. <gasps> Shadow and Bone by Legal Bardugo. Okay, let's see if you can see this. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. That's another book I'm adding to my TBR. This, this book right here. That's officially added to my TBR. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video today, guys. Um, let me see if I can hold all these up. Just give me one minute. Okay, so those are the books that I finished this month, and these are all the books that I plan on reading. Six books. I can do that, right? Sure I can. Sure I can. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video today, guys, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Goodbye! This is just a little clip added on at the end of the video. Um, I forgot to say this during the video. Um, so I can't remember what video I said it in, but I mentioned how many books that I have on my TBR. And um, so as of right now, I still haven't finished Book Thief or Harry Potter. Um, but as of right now, I have 119 books on my TBR. And that is because I've recently gotten six new books, um, but four of them super recently. So I was at 115, and then obviously it moved up to 119. Um, so yeah, so I have 119 books on my TBR. So that's why that ban is in place. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to say that so that you guys knew the number. Um, and I am trying to get that down. Uh, hopefully within the next couple months, um, ho definitely by the end of the year, it will be down. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to update you guys on that, that I have 119 books to read on my shelves. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Goodbye.